Yo, let's go and welcome to the video. In the previous video, we looked at the first three bosses in Sunwell, which if they continue on with Sunwell's release being like it was back in the original TBC, then we'll have those first three bosses for two weeks, and then we'll gain access to the Twins boss, which we'll have all four for the next three weeks after that. So for five weeks into Sunwell, this will be the additional gear that we'll have access to. We've got two cloth shoulders, some with no spirit, but with crit and haste. Some that have spirit, but only crit and no haste. And then we have some leather with spirit and haste. There's a PvP neck, and then the PvE neck that all of the casters might be interested in. So looking back at our 4-piece tier 5 and 4-piece tier 6 set, you know, if we only got those 3 pieces of tier, and that's it so far, then we would not be running out of mana for a 2-minute fight using Destro Pots, which is the goal, and we'll be doing about 2308 DPS. And this is also with uh, haste spell power gems for the yellow sockets. So I've made a second set assuming that we get the best legs shoulders the new main hand off hand and the new necklace and since we would lose our four piece tier six bonus by using the shoulders we would still have to get the bracers belt or boots so i just put on the bracers to see and then i had to switch a ring to the loop of forge power the crafted boe jewel crafting ring so that we get back up to our hit cap so if we got all seven of the new pieces, including getting the cloth pieces that are going to be fought after from locks and mages, maybe even shaman or shadow priest, we still come up short behind the four piece tier five, four piece tier six set. And we're also spending you know, 1.1 seconds boom. So it's going to be harder on our mana. So maybe switching if assuming we got like the belt or boots instead of the bracers to finish out our four piece. So if we got the belt instead of the bracers, we can put a DPS ring back on without hit. And I've got the nimble thought bracers back on and we're right at the spell hit cap. And we're spending a lot more time oom, which is lowering our DPS down to 2260. Now a way to change that is to change out all the yellow gems to crit gems. And I've got the Cuffs of Devastation on instead of the Haste Bracers. So we can pull ourselves back up to pretty much the same thing as if we got the Bracers instead of the Belt. And we'd be spending 0.03 seconds out of mana. So now since we're running Oom, I'll keep the Crit Gems in and the Cuffs of Devastation for our wrists. I've got the Noose back on, a couple of Hit Gems to get us to 15.8%. It's about as close as we're going to get, I think, without going over for this set. And this is having the Tier 6 Boots instead of the Belt or bracers so we're not running out of mana at all but we're only getting 2279 dps so even if we got all of that new gear from the first four bosses for all of those slots that are available and getting one piece of tier it's still not going to be better than four piece tier five four piece tier six so maybe by the time the second gate opens and we get access to muru we might be able to break that four piece four piece but i will save that for the next video and i'll see you in that one